this is a pretty decent video and i think a good way to kind of segue into the comedy circle i thought this is a really nice gesture but also for some reason the internet flipping hates mr beast or social media does not the internet i think the internet loves mr beast for the most part i like what he does i think his channel is amazing um you know the creativity behind the thumbnails the way the videos are edited just him as a guy overall i think he's super interesting to listen to but for some reason i don't know what it is about him i think people want to believe that he's not a good dude which I'm sure he has elements of his personality that aren't the greatest, but people seem to be waiting and hoping that he has like a Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star sort of like moment where people find out, aha, he's been keeping all the bodies here. And you know what I mean? People are waiting for that to happen. I don't really know why it is about, because I think, I, you know, we talk about a lot of people on the show that are really kind of unlikable, but he doesn't really seem to be unlikable. Again, maybe because I'm a fan of his, I'm a bit biased, but I don't really get the sense or the feeling that Mr. Beast is an unlikable person or is a bad guy in some way. Again, he may have some bad attributes. I'm sure there's some things that he's done that aren't the greatest, but I feel like some people on social media are waiting for him to have a Shane Dawson type of moment. And I don't really know why that is. Again, maybe some people can know in the comments who know more than me, but I do watch his content quite often, you know, and I like a lot of it. It can be a bit corny and a bit cheesy, but for what he does, he flipping kills it. But people really don't like what he does overall. I really don't really, it just throws me off. So this video has kind of gone viral of him giving a tip to a waitress at a local, I guess, was it a diner or something? And instead of giving a tip to be monetarily, um, he decides to give this person a tip in terms of handing them keys to a brand new car, which is obviously really cool and but we're definitely going to see some people find a reason not to like this i don't really know why but let's just play it anyway regardless what's the biggest tip you've ever gotten like 50 50 dollars yeah has anyone ever tipped a car oh my you're have you seen our TikTok before it's mr beast does that ring a bell <laughs> don't pass you out you're yeah. lying this is not this is a car key this is not a car do you want to see it it's outside let's go <laughs> Right over here, you'll see your brand new car. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, wow, I wasn't expecting to cry. I mean, <laughs> this isn't real. No, it is real. <laughs> Just hit the unlock button. See if it makes noise. I was literally late to work today because the Uber was so horrible. I'm like, panicking. Oh, bless her. <laughs> this, this, I'm like in such shock right now. I don't even know how to drive. Enjoy the car. Thank you so much. What's the biggest tip you've ever... But, uh, but that's the thing. People are saying taxes. That's the thing, though. That's, that's why it makes it good because this is clearly some sort of collaboration with whoever stickers on the side of it festive what's that feast what's that feastables i don't know if that's a food thing or like a as in a festival thing i'm not really sure it's definitely a collaboration but the fact that it's like a what is it a toyota prius or maybe or some sort of car that sort of makes some sort of that category right it's not like a mercedes or something crazy you're you're assuming she's going to be able to afford um whatever taxes need to be paid on it or what he'd maybe do is that he'd maybe kind of pay up to a certain extent maybe pay cover it for a year and all you've got to do is basically cover the petrol and it may be a hybrid car also that might help but in general it's better than giving her like a lamborghini because then she'd have to go sell it all that sort of stuff it's just some nonsense but it's definitely a practical thing to give somebody especially somebody who works in a diner maybe who kind of maybe has to get up really early in the morning to drive themselves to work cars are cheap cars are not you know the cheapest thing to buy especially ones that run well blah 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 japanese made car so i think it's a really good gift to give somebody like it go it, i think it's better than literally giving someone from the hood a g-wagon this is much more practical much more helpful and even if you're to sell it you're still going to get a decent amount of money for it so i think it's a good gesture regardless i just don't know why people will find a reason not to like this i just can't understand it do you know what i mean like why would you not like somebody going out of their way to be charitable even if it is to be viral on social media like what is the problem because i think for me i look at somebody like an elon musk for example to be a good example of it right i think elon musk has become too much of a cunt on social media for people to look at what he does for humanity in a charitable way from you know making us a multi-planetary species to you know getting us away from the dependencies of fossil fuel and whatnot and obviously what he's going to do now with Twitter and making that a bit more of an enjoyable experience, I think it's a little bit more free and reckless on, on Twitter. It's not as crazy as it was before where people getting deleted and counts getting to spend all the time if you're not saying the right sort of thing. He's obviously doing some great things for humanity, but because he's become such a cunt on social media as a person, people find it hard to like him, right? People find it really, really hard to like him. So I think with Mr. Beast, he doesn't have that problem though. He's not really unlikable on, online. I don't really feel that. 
Whereas the only thing you can unlike him for, or not no, the, re- the reason why you can not like him is maybe because the lot of the acts that he does are quite performative and they have this appeal where you're kind of wanting it to be viral and stuff, which is the nature of his business, right? He kind of is essentially a social media guy. So he kind of has to have that element of his um, content that kind of skews that way. But I think at the heart of it, if he's making sure that people can see again, he's giving shoes to kids who didn't have any shoes. He's going out and giving waitresses who work at, you know, um, you know, rough diners in areas that clearly they would probably need a car to kind of get back to and from work, especially a young girl maybe has to go and risk her life getting a, a bus in the morning or late at night. It's quite nice to be able to have a car and this could maybe open up, 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 up other avenues for her in terms of her life going forward, whatever it may be, career changes. I don't, I don't know. I just don't see why you could hate on this, but people will find a way to hate on it. This is a site we live in nowadays. Um, people just kind of don't want to be charitable to people. But I don't know. Maybe it's a subconscious thing because people maybe feel uncomfortable because he does so much charity and he's clearly, you know, it, he's, he's kind of like the guy, he's kind of like the musician that puts all their recording money into this live show or into making better music videos, right? Like those artists do exist where they pour every single profit that they make back into their art they make better live shows they put out better merch the videos improve they just keep on continually putting the money back into the business and i feel like if you don't do that it can maybe feel, make you feel a little bit uneasy that he, even though he's earning a lot of money and he could be living l- luxurious and you know essentially doing what he wants he kind of does he kind of gives back as much as possible and kind of puts other people to shame maybe that's the case i'm not really too sure but there's definitely something about mr beast that people aren't necessarily vibing with and i'd love to know what it is because it it would be perfect if it kind of ended up being that he was another Jeffrey Star or Sean Dawson because that maybe justify everyone's suspicion, but I don't know where the suspicion is coming from because I don't really see it. Because if you're saying it's because he you know he films everything, he's a YouTuber first, of course he's gonna film everything. But I feel like most of these acts are always done to kind of benefit people first, and then of course if it aids it to be viral and it, you know they can make the money back on a video and stuff, why not do it? You know what I mean? Um, especially if more people are going to be helped and touched along the way so i don't really have an issue with it personal personally in my opinion but you know i think some people just don't like the guy overall and will find any excuse not to like him and like i said let's see how it plays out maybe people's suspicion is going to be proved right and they're gonna be like you know what see we told you he was not good we told you 